Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to speak more on truth and thriving in this time of awakening. And I'm going to hone it in on this tendency that so many of us have to outsource the responsibility for the present and the future to some heroic savior figure out yeah, outside of us. This is very common in politics, whether the savior is called Trump or DeSantis or Gabbard or uh, Sanders or Cortez or, you know, even Thunberg, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Greta Thunberg, little girl is going to save us from the future, from the pains of the future. Well, I don't think so. The tendency is that we're looking towards these people who, in whatever way, have managed to have influence in a system that is completely corrupt. As far as I can tell, aside from the circus between the right and the left, the integrity of democracies around the world seem to be all but gone. I don't know if there are any truly democratic elections in the world anymore, maybe a couple. It's hard to tell, but we're not doing well when it comes to election integrity around the world. People don't trust these systems anymore. So... How can can it be that we're looking for people to save us from the same class of people that we, at the same time, are really distrustful of? Politicians. Now, maybe in your world, you're like, but, but Trump or but DeSantis or, well, how do you know what master they serve? How do you know? Point being here, is that there is a theme of initiation that is very strong in our culture right now. And initiation is something I care a lot about. I've been working with it for more than a decade and for eight to nine years since I was reclaiming the throne where I was taking hundreds of guys through these deep soul processes of initiation. And it is a process where uh, my ego or parts of my ego has to let go because there is some deeper truth I want to come through, right? And this also happens when when we are young, a child is initiated into adolescence, an adolescent is initiated into an adult, and there are parts of his ego in that process that just give way and a new part of us comes online. And, and so many of us after we're 20 years old, we don't really go through many more significant initiations. And a lot of the initiations that are alive and healthy in this world seem to be of an occult kind into really, really shady brotherhoods. So initiation has a bad rap, maybe. But we need it. We need it. We need the initiation to become truly adults in a world where the external saviors are unpredictable at best, may dangerous at worst. And I think then, then when we realize uh, just the depth of corruption and disinformation and propaganda and oppression and pure malevolence that is being pushed through these systems, these systems of external authority, governments and NGOs, corporations, institutions, religious institutions, medical systems, they're all corrupted by now. And in the human race, it seems that there are two, two blocks of people that are bifurcating at the moment. So you have the people that are interested in sovereignty and truth and love and food independence and quantum healing and some kind of democracy or some kind of decentralized finance, some kind of non-corrupted system of governance. And then we have the other part of humanity that is still invested in the dark empire that is just lying about pretty much everything. That is the role of our media for the most part is to lie to us in order to have us accept the kinds of ridiculous things that are happening in the world. I mean, who would accept the kind of treatment that we 
<laughs> received from our own authorities over the last three years if we hadn't at the same time swallowed a lot of propaganda from the media. The good thing, of course, is that there is a an increasing movement towards the former, the, the, the people that just want to be free. They want to be free and they want to be decentralized and independent and they care about truth, they care about love, they care about the natural way. It seems important then that as part of that general awakening that we at the same time realize that we are not going to get those things by looking outside of ourselves to some sort of roster of X-Men heroes where we're going to find the one with the right superpower and then somehow we're going to be saved. No, you're not going to be saved. I do not believe that that is in the cards for this particular moment in our culture. This, this moment of initiation is so potent precisely because we are being confronted with a growing awareness that nobody's going to save us, that you are the one you have been waiting for, that you are the one who needs to step up. You are the one who needs to build community and create new systems. Me and you and all of us, we are the ones. And then if it turns out that we have some good leaders that are actually not corrupt, that would be fantastic. But it doesn't really matter so much what those leaders are now because we are all becoming leaders see that is what it means to be an initiated sovereign human being an adult that we all find our unique role in the tribe that we that we get clarity on what our true craft is and then we contribute that craft to other people right and this requires a lot of responsibility. It requires that there's something immature in us which dies. The immature part being the one that kind of wants mommy's tit or wants to crawl back into the womb or wants just, just wants a break. Give me a break. I want to enjoy myself and have some comfort. Well, of course, I wish you all the thriving in the world. And boy, are we going to thrive when we're through this. That's what I believe. But at the end of the day, if the thriving comes at the expense of truth and the responsibility for all that truth reveals, then there's not going to be thriving. There's going to be hell to pay. So we're, uh, we're in the, the vice, you know, the, the forces of the world are just like, uh, and we need to find a way to expand out of this to embrace all of these challenges and to well there are many questions we don't have answers to here what is our new systems going to look like what are they going to look like we don't know but certainly we do know that if we're just going to wait for somebody to save us and give us a prepackaged system that we can just step into and thrive in, if we think that's gonna happen, I think we're gonna be disappointed. I would be delighted if I'm wrong, absolutely delighted. But at the end of the day, I believe that every single one of us that acts as if it is not the case will contribute so much to this initiation that we're in as humanity. Just, just look. Just look at the madness that our politicians are doing right now. Just look. Whether it's <clears throat> or the climate change narrative. I, I just realized today that it's, what, seven degrees colder. No, it, the, sorry. The last seven years have been colder than the, the average. Let me show you this, actually. Let me show you this before we end. Here.
The Earth's temperature currently is minus 0 0.14 degrees Celsius colder than the norm. And we can go here. Look at this. 2015 average, 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and now 22 average, all below normal. So the idea that the planet is melting when we're actually at subnormal temperatures is a bit silly, if you ask me. So we need to ask those questions and we need to take responsibility for being the change here because you are the one you've been waiting for. And yes, it does take a big, big load of responsibility to take this on but i do think this is the gift and the challenge of the times that we're in but this is just what i believe i think this is part of the awakening process but it's just what i believe so you let me know what you believe is there even an awakening happening and is there is there going to be anyone out there that's going to just swoop in and save us with their heroic savior mastery or actually is it up to you and me let me know in the comments below and if you want to be in this conversation more consistently don't uh, hesitate to subscribe i'd love to see you again have a great day bye bye